On this adventure, we go out on Lake Erie in search of Canada's most southern point. Sadly, you'll hear me say the most southernest point several times throughout this video. I also found myself getting eaten alive by some of the nastiest bugs I've ever seen on Lake Erie. That bloody hurt. Oh, and I also fell off my CD. Holy shit, I just fell right in. It's exactly 10 o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning. Uh, we're down here, Leamington, setting sail from here, heading out onto Peely Island. So I'm just gonna crawl out of here. The first thing of interest is this, this roll on and roll off car ferry, which is the uh, ferry that takes you to Peely Island. A memory from uh, the 1980s just popped up, Zeebrugge. Mind you, on that particular day, it was very stormy and the water just gushed right through before they closed the doors and they ended up rolling over. Bow thrusters are on. Uh, turn the, uh, the ship round in a 90 degree angle, that's cool. Just can't go anywhere. Every, everywhere I go, Mark, Mark's, Mark's here. He just knows the spots like I do, you see? Great minds. The goal today is to ride to Canada's most southern point. The most southernest point we can get to in Canada. And we're gonna do it by sea -Doo. And I'm gonna repeat that quite a few times, by the way, in this video, the most southern point. So you will get a bit annoying. So anyway, we're on Lake Erie and we're making our way out towards Point Pelee and then onto the island. So what you have here is the beginning of Point Peely National Park. Just starts where those houses end right there. And then stretches all the way along here to the very tip, which of course is the most southernmost point of Canada uh, land. Like uh, there is an island out there, which we're gonna go to after, but mainland Canada is the most southern point of mainland Canada. And that's where we're heading to next. Before we head out onto the island, the most southern point of Canada altogether. Uh, so being a national park, just beyond the tree line there, we'll be camping and stuff like that. So hence you have the people walking the dogs around here. Um, I've heard a lot of people coming down here and say it's a fantastic place. Never camped here. I'm sure Mark Forrest at some point will do. Um, in fact, where is Mark? I see his sea I just don't see Mark. <laughs> uh, Mark's gone wandering. Yeah, I think he's in the bush. Maybe he's found a nudist camp, who knows? Exploring, Dora the Explorer. Chance some woman doing some workout on a bench there. It's a little backlit the island right now. Sorry, the island. Ow. Ah, bloody flies! Stop biting me! Oh my god, the flies are really nibbly today. If I'm not mistaken, uh, this thing behind me here, getting to shot, that, that I believe behind me is the tip exhibit. Um, I got no internet right now, so I can't even confirm exactly what it does. I'm gonna presume it's a lookout. Look at the top, looks like there's some like file things. Something you can look at, uh, like a, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna imagine that's a lookout post, an observation deck. Um, yeah, so that's what's there. Just, just further on around there is the uh, the very most southern point, the southern tip of Canada, of land, uh, mainland Canada. So that's where we're gonna go to next. So I'll see you there in a second. <laughs> We made it to the most southern point of Canada. The most southern point landmass of Canada is here 
at the end of Nash uh, Pili National Park and uh, two people standing right at the very edge right now. Uh, you can't get any more southern mainland than this. Uh, you, the only further south you can go is the island, but apart from this, this is it. Now, this is cool. Uh, the flow of water coming from the bay here, leaning to meet the rest of Lake Erie, look. It's like, it's like oceans meeting the oceans. <laughs> hey! So you got the flow from one uh, side coming out and the other flow uh, coming the other way. So this is the main area of Lake Erie. If I was, if I was to continue going east right now, I would end up back at uh, Crystal Beach eventually and Buffalo, United States. Uh, just way over there in the distance. So here I am, I've made it to the very end of Canada, mainland Canada, right here. It, it drops off right there, look. <laughs> Once you get that point, you've gone. So I am now at the most southernest point of mainland Canada. And now I've got to go because my CD is starting to wash away. All right, let these lovely folks carry on taking photographs and we'll get out of their way. This is fun because it drops off really, really quickly as you push out. <laughs> Holy shit, I just fell right in. The current, right on the pit, tip here, every time I pushed off, the, uh, the water just suck me right back into this little point bit, which is all rocks. I don't want to start the sea to it with all these rocks. So as you can see, <laughs> I'm now walking out into the distance, trying to get the sea do deeper, so I can start it without sucking up rocks. <laughs> and everyone's looking over there and having a damn good laugh <laughs> at my expense. All right, I may as well walk to Peely Island at this rate. Oh, right, here goes. Oh, not deep enough. Quick. Uh, but I'm uh, soaked to the bone. Life vest is soaked. It's not very warm today just yet. It's only like 21, 22. Um, so hopefully it'll warm up shortly. Uh, Mark's sad, I think. He looks sad over there. I think he's sad because I fell in the water. Sad or embarrassed? <laughs> he just said he's embarrassed more than anything. Look at me! Get off my boat! No, no, the flies are biting me! My foot is red, like bitten to hell. I've only been here 10 minutes. Oh, I'm moving. i got to move. I think Mark's being followed by an eagle. shipwreck or something or a pier or something all right there's not much to see on this point i don't want to keep going around so i think we're gonna set course now for the island it's uh it's all surrounded by trees here so i'm gonna make my, my another top on and then head out to the island and uh take it from there Thing here is the Peely 
Island New Light Station. Not a lighthouse, light station. So uh, it looks like he needs a clean. I don't know how active that is because the, the glass at the top is completely covered in grime. But interesting thing. And you can smell it, it's like rotted animals. There's probably a few dead birds up there. Yeah! So it's firing off some warning. You yeah, hear yeah, like a boom. Boom. But it's not scaring the birds. The thing is, it doesn't really scare the birds away. Hello? <laughs> so this is the main shipping uh, channel coming out of uh, Lake Erie from Detroit. If you want to head out like further east. So uh, this is the Algoma uh, Suit Salts, S-A-L-U-T. And the Wilfrid Sykes is the one behind it. Uh, she's moving at a pretty good pace there. Big, big ship. One of those old plastic uh, liners uh, back in the day where the, uh, the wheelhouse at the front of the ship. And not many of them left these days are on the Great Lakes. here we have a lighthouse and so this is Peely Lighthouse on Peely Island built in 1833 of course decommissioned now hence the, uh, the new uh, floating thing way out there that's probably got something to do with that originally built in 1833 with Peely Island limestone the lighthouse operated for 75 years before its light went out in 1909 it became abandoned and fell into disrepair. It wasn't until the year 2000 that the Pelly Lighthouse went through a beautiful restoration and received the designation of a historical landmark. The plan is right now we're at Pelly Island, which is, of course, let's say it, Canada's most southerly point. The most southerly point of Canada. It's the uh, most southerly island we have. So we're going to go around the island uh, clockwise because uh, it's a little stronger the current on this side so when we get to the other side on the west side it should be a little bit calmer and maybe we'll get off and explore go into a little bit of a town or something because it is time for coffee shortly bug spraying because we're getting eaten by these big horrible looking flies they're like deer flies deer flies horse flies deer flies and they hurt look just since we left like i'm like i'm dying that bloody hurt pesky little buggers i just love to sit there have a little fire and uh especially on a stormy night just watching the lightning over the sky that'd be beautiful what a nice remote place though some nice homes along here uh none of those horrible mansion style homes you see in muskoka these are nice little uh Average sized houses, I think you'd say. Cottages, I like them. They're nice. Peely Island, folks. All right, I tell a lie. I just found one big spectacular house. Gorgeous. I don't know how much protection it'll get though from a storm. I'll be happy with a bungalow next to it. Some beauty, it's just a beautiful place, this Peely Island. Really, really is nice. Uh, but this is quickly becoming one of my favorite uh, rides. It really is. I'm, I'm loving every minute of this ride. Very shallow water here. Oh no, we're not 
the most of them point. It's over there. <laughs> Jesus. So we're here. So we've still got to go around quite a bit. So that's the most southern point. Ah, a little bit further to go then. Just got to keep an eye on the depth here, but uh, look at the rock face. Uh, how it just juts out of the, uh, the lake on this side. So what, four feet of water. That's kind of cool to see. try and make our way up to the most southern bit. Now, those islands in the distance are US islands. I'll just pull up on my map for you. So those are the US ones. They're not too far away. There's one, there's another one over here. Now, I don't want to scare you folks, but legend has it, uh, Lake Erie does have its own monster something out there and it ain't Jaws and it ain't Loch Ness it's a Lake Erie monster it's getting closer to land all the destruction from the storms probably smashing all the trees up knocking them over a lot of driftwood there so here we have you folks, we're coming up to the most southerly point of Canada. And it's been overtaken by a shitload of birds. <laughs> but we are right at the tip, the furthest you can go on Canadian land. So uh, I don't know if we're going to beach here and walk around. I mean last time we beached I fell in the bloody water and I just dried off. Yeah, I'm good. It could be shallow here. It looks like a bit of a shoal. Yeah? Yeah, go out and round. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh dear. <laughs> folks the most southerly tip of Canada is right there that is the most southerly tip you can't get any further south on land than that point right there all right ever so quickly I'm just gonna get off ever, oh I'm already floating away hey well I saw the stones I shut the engine off I didn't want to suck them up Oh, no, that's just the normal. Look, oh! <laughs> wow, there's a hell of a swell coming in. I don't know, sinking. Gee! Uh, maybe I won't get off. Oh, actually, i got to get off very quickly. Ow! Gee! <laughs> All right, I'm on land. Very, very quickly. I'm at the most southernest point of Canada. Get in! So I've made it. I've got to get back on the CD before it goes. The birds, I just pissed them off. There they go. Hey, birds. So, uh, we're going to head back out. Uh, uh, I'm running. I'm running. There I am, folks. The tip of Canada. We did it. I can cross that off my list. Now i got to try and get back out here without falling in the water like I did earlier which was quite embarrassing. Oh! I think I, I think I have a lot of water in the well here. All right. <laughs> That's, this is gonna be a full speed ahead and get it out. Like that. You ready? Here it goes. Can we do it that way? Did it. 
All right, third time lucky. Apparently that wasn't the most southern part. Actually, that is the most southern inhabited part of Canada. Inhabited. Uh, we have just found another small island. It's right on the border of the United States. And I don't think this one's inhabited. It's like, it actually does list it as the most southern point in Canada. So we're gonna quickly go over there to say that we've done it. And then we'll be happy. in front is called Middle Island and it is the most southern point in Canada, officially, <laughs> the most southerly, southerly point of Canada. And now, I like to believe this is um, uninhabited, hence that's why I stated I was at the furthest point really on being, in being inhabited. Am I making sense? Anyway, this looks like it's a, a wildlife refuge. It's uh, the south side of the island is virtually just on the line of the uh, United States border. I'll just show you here quickly. So I'll just enlarge that. So we're coming towards it and see just the line. That's, that's the US border right there. 20 feet. What did he say? I'll read it to you if I can read. Point Pelee National Park of Canada, Middle Island. With a gull sat on top of it. Look at that. So here we are, folks. This is officially the most southern point of Canada. You can't even see mainland Canada from here. That's the uh, Peely Island. The mainland, you can't even see we're that far out now. Uh, when I go around the other side, I'll get a distance and tell you exactly how far we are from mainland. Morning, chap. How you doing? Don't worry, guys. We're not going to piss you off. I'm just going to shut the engine off so you can hear it all. This, this is priceless. Right, we're actually trying to keep away from them and we don't want to really disturb them so we're not going to really we're not going to even attempt to get on the land we're going to stay quite far away from the nesting birds well folks this really is the most southern tip southerly tip of canada there's this line of wall right here because the US is just there. Uh, that's another, that's a US island. We'll do another day. But folks, this is Middle Island. It's like, I don't know, it's, it's amazing. What was you doing? Huh? What was you doing? Sorry, I oh, I was wondering what you're, like, what you're doing to your sea do. <laughs> that was one way of gracefully not getting on it. Hey, which one of us fell in? Dope, he's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> Riding up the side of the island right now, and I've just spotted something in the water. Oh, look at this little guy just rescued from the uh, the lake, struggling to fly proper. Need to put him on shore, give him a chance, I guess. Hey, you gonna be on camera? Hey, we'll try and put you on shore, give you a chance. All right, little mate. Oh, he came over to me as well. All right, so I can do for you. It's okay, don't pack me. There you go. Give you a little chance. There you go. 
got a chance. Now it's got a chance. Right, there's nowhere to tie up here. Nowhere at all. So what we're going to do... Uh, I think we're going to try and beach it. We're going to try and beach it right here. Hope for the best. Oh, well, the idea just parked it here, moored it up, beached it, tied it up to a stump. It's kind of protected here. I anyway, mean, got my laundry out, <laughs> trying to dry off from earlier on. So, we saw a little restaurant down here, so we're gonna go there, see if we can grab something to eat, drink. Check out this place, Stone House from 1891. See what it's like in here. Oh, I green. That sounds delicious. Nice little menu they have here. And a nice view. Nice. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Do you want to have a appetizer? Let's share some French fries, poutine, or a salad. We'll go right for the food. Right? Yeah, right for the food. <laughs> that looks good. Easy eating duck. I'm fancy. <laughs> it's another shit! <laughs> Look at the speed of this thing going! That thing's motoring! than what it was three or four hours ago. All right, we were here at 10 o'clock this morning. There's like a dozen people. Oh, look how busy it is now. This is the, uh, uh, the most... <laughs> loads of, loads of people over there. Absolutely loads. And us, on this side, no one around us. So, uh, the beauty of being on the water sometimes. It is just like a lovely paradise here. I got my sea dew beached up, people bathing all along here. It's a nice long stretch of beach. Uh, weather's perfect. It's a great way to end the day. couldn't have asked for a better day today the weather's been absolutely fantastic uh, it's been an amazing trip all around Peely Point here over to Peely Island then over to Middle Island and around got off to have some lunch got off here and just beached it and had a swim and relaxed for half an hour and now we're gonna head back to Marina and pack it up it's been a very very great trip
we're downtown Leamington and we're just looking for where to eat. And sadly, a lot of the places close at eight, nine o'clock on a Sunday. Uh, but we found the place where we were last night, so we're going back there again. And we managed to park right on the street. I have to say, Leamington's full of, I'm not gonna say it, but you can just tell by the vehicles that drive past and the noise. It's, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is a place we're at. What's it called? Crave. Crave family place. Good food. <laughs> nice place. What a happy boy. Aye. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Mike. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice one.